So you've seen plenty of swords hit tatami mats, but have you seen a tatami mat hit a sword? If the stand hadn't fallen over, that might have actually worked. Cut about halfway in. Before we get to the cutting, I want to give a quick shout out to- Whoa, whoa, hang on a moment. I know that you're conditioned to immediately skip ahead in the video as soon as anyone announces a sponsored promo, but I think you might like this one. Something that goes well with brutal frostbit necro grim Nordic weather. Yeah, it got a little wintry since I recorded that cutting. And what do you wear in winter, aside from warm clothing? Viking jewelry. Viking is a French company, so descendants of the Normans, if you will, that was founded in 2014 and offers a variety of silver and bronze jewelry. You've probably seen at least one of the pieces that they sent me before, and I've always been impressed by the quality so far. This has been my favorite, the Vigvisir ring. Intricate detail in the pattern here, very well made, uh, it's really comfortable to wear. They also have Thor's hammers and plenty of other pendants and rings and bracelets. Quite a good selection, very high quality, and that will make for a great Christmas, or shall I say, Yule gift. Check them out down below, link is there, and uh, let's slice some stuff up, shall we? All right, the mat is properly set up now. No more fooling around. No, I'm not gonna do that. Pretty sure it's not good for the chainsaw, and it's probably not good for my safety either. But what I am gonna do is do some cutting with one of the most epic swords on the reproduction market. I finally got my hands on an Albion Principe. If I can manage to resist all the distractions, there's a squirrel squeaking adorably in the tree. Yeah, that would really work something. Anyway, so. Here it is. Look at that blade. That is one hell of a blade. That is very wide. Even though it tapers substantially, that's that's still pretty a pretty beefy blade out here. Enough talk. Have at you. I didn't even try on that one. Okay, that's ridiculous. I did kind of a half-hearted cut, just kind of like, and okay, let's see how fine of a slice I can get here. It's a little off. Let's try again here. <laughs> All right, I'll go for an extra smooth cut now. <laughs> Whew, that is smooth. All right, let's make a triangle out of it. Okay, I have to agree with Blumiron's verdict. Um, this may not be great for beginners because it is too forgiving. Like any mistake you make, the sort of like, eh, you know what, pal, I'll, I'll help you out here. I'll, I'll do the cut for you even though you kind of screwed up a little bit. Nah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Damn. <laughs> I'm afraid I will have to Ah, uh, can I say it? This may cut better than the Knecht. Okay, let's see exactly how forgiving this is. I still have some trouble with the edge alignment on the sword cut, especially on the left side. Left side is my weak side. So, this goes through. Just do it! <laughs> This is setting a new standard for cutting. Well, okay, a new standard for the Konami code of cutting. This is cheat. Uh, th that's all I'm gonna say. This will let you cheat in your cuts to a an absurd degree, an awesome degree. 
apparently my horizontal cuts are so bad, even this sword won't do it cleanly. <laughs> That's on me though. Let's see if I can do the other side better. Not fantastic, I can tell that the edge alignment was a bit off, but the cut itself is very clean. And uh, this is factory edge, by the way, I didn't do anything with it. All right, let's see how it does with a really relaxed, easy swing. All about the control, almost no force. And it, it just casually shaved off the top of the spike. Oh boy! Will it still spike? Yep, it still spikes. Let's see how it works for medieval gardening. Since I have a pretty good idea of what it can do, let's get crazy. A quick disclaimer is in order here. Even though fresh softwood is not as hard and tough as bone, it's still a problem with a diameter like this. Definitely abusive. Because if the edge alignment is even just slightly off, it can twist in the material and cause severe damage to the blade. Look at that. Wow. That is crazy. And all the way through. There's a closer look at what we've got here. Smooth cuts. So this is not the full review yet, just the first impression. But the impression so far is basically get this thing if you can afford it. It's ridiculous in the best kind of way. Link down below. Thanks for watching.